okay so welcome back to this course so on this video i want to send my this stripe api key to the front end so i simply go to my payment controller okay i copy this function from here so control c put that right here so that will send stripe api key so send stripe api key slash api slash v1 slash stripe api okay and the function name is send stripe api okay and we have to simply uh, 200 json that i simply pass here uh, the stripe api key so stripe api key that is process dot env dot the stripe underscore api underscore key okay so i simply save it go to payment and let's have to duplicate it so control c v so this is get request that is post request so that is uh, stripe api okay and the function is the strength api key put that here and also here simply save it close this one and i simply done on my back end so i go to my front end and the front end in the app.js i simply bring in here use state also so use state and then in the function component i simply type here const stripe api key and then set stripe api key that will be equal to use state okay and then uh, in the use factor i simply give here an async function so async as oops async function that will be get stripe api key and in that i simply have to send the request so cons data equals to x await x years dot get the slash api slash v1 slash stripe api okay so stripe api and then i will simply set the stripe api key and put in here data dot stripe api key all right and we also have to call this function so control c put that here okay and also we have to bring in the axios so import axios from axios okay so we why i have uh, get this api key on the front end because in my next video when i'll create the payment route i have to wrap that payment route in the stripe component all right in the elements component and that has prop of stripe and in that i have to pass this api key all right so in that case we can need this api key on the front end in the app.js okay so that's the end of this video you have successfully pulled out the api key on the front end so in the next video i will basically create my payment component and i will work in the payment component and then in my next video i will also process the payments okay so i will see you in the next video okay so welcome back to this course so now let's create our uh, payment component in the card folder that is payment.js okay so r a c f e to create the basic markup and let's go to shipping to just copy uh, this data to save some time so control c and I put that right here. We need here fragment. We don't use here state. We have to use here use effect hook. Okay. And we don't need the countries list here. 
metadata here, checkout steps here, then the use dispatch, use selector, and we also need use alert. So I import here. So import use alert from the oops from react alert okay and then first of all let's install the package of stripe i simply clear this, this go to the front end okay and now if i go to the npm website this is the stripe slash react stripe js so i have to install this package on the front end and also i have to install the uh package where it is uh this one stripe js also okay so i simply copy this from here and install these two packages so react stripe uh, js and then the stripe js okay so press enter to install these two packages and then we will set up our stripe okay so packages are installed successfully so i simply have to first of all bring in some components from the stripe so i simply import them here and also i don't need these actions here okay so i simply import first of all the use stripe okay we have to use the stripe also then use elements okay and then the card number element to get the card number okay because we have to first of all get the not card this is card number uh, the payment card number and then the card expiry card expiry element okay and then also you have to bring in the card cvc i don't know why i'm putting here card again and again so it is card cvc i cannot type here so that is also card oops so card number element then the card expiry element then the card cvc element and we have to bring that from the stripe react stripe js okay so we have to bring in these components and after that i also have to bring in the axios because i have to send the request to the back end all right uh, to the payment process route to process the payment and let's first of all create here also pull out the history okay first of all i use here alert so const alert is equal to use alert then const stripe is equal to use stripe that had us bring in and then the const elements elements equals to the use elements okay and then the dispatch so const dispatch is equal to use dispatch and then also i have to bring in the user okay from the use selector state dot off and also i have to bring in the card items and the shipping info because I, after processing the payments i also have to pass the this order details to the new order uh, function okay so that is use selector that is state dot card and also let's bring in the uh, i will bring that later and then after that in the use effect first of all uh, before that i simply have to put in here the fragment fragment and then the metadata and the checkout steps so i simply copy these two from here so control c put that right here okay 
and now we are on the we are done with our shipping and then the also the confirm order and now we are on the payment step all right and this is the payment page right and let's go to our notepad to core copy my the payment markup so i simply copy it from here so control c go back and then put that right here simply save it and now let's go to the top first of all we have to create here the in the value i don't need actually value here and also i don't want to use here this input uh, very uh, element i have to use here the card number element this one okay because this will automatically validate the card number is correct or not okay so i put here card uh, number element and pass in these values and now this is not only a text field this is actually card number element field that will automatically validate the card number okay then same for the expiry element inside of the uh, default input i put here the card expiry element and then the card cvc element and they will automatically these fields will automatically validate them we don't have to worry about that i move this field field and then um let's also replace this html4 so html4 so copy it put it here put it here and also we have to pass some options so i simply create here that options object so const options equals to first of all i have to pass in there this style okay in the style the base style is going to be the only font size so font size is going to be 16 pixel i think so this is enough and then after the base style i have to put here the invalid oops invalid so if the card number is invalid or card expiry uh, expiry date is invalid or cvc in, is invalid I simply have to change the color to red. Okay, so I put in here the color code that is 9E2146. Okay, so this is the options. So I will simply scroll down and pass them right here. So options that is this options. Simply copy it. Put that right here. Here, simply so save it. And now let's if I go to the top. And I think so. We are done right now. So I simply go to my app.js and I will process the payment in my next video. Right now, just focus on this payment component. So if I go to the app.js and let's bring in our payment. Control D payment let's scroll down and now we have to use the stripe api key so i will simply check that stripe api key exists then uh, i will simply create here the elements i think so you can also bring in the elements so i have to pass in the stripe option in the stripe I have to pass the load stripe and I have to bring in all these things. So load stripe and then the load stripe I have to pass in the stripe API key. Okay. And then we have to put in here our protected route. So protected route path is going to be slash payment. Okay. Component is going to be payment like this. And let's first of all bring in our elements so that is payments so import the elements from uh, at stripe react stripe js 
and then we have to bring in the load stripe from the stripe.js so that is load stripe all right so simply we first of all check that if stripe API key exists that you have passed from the backend and then we have to in the elements you have to pass in the option of stripe that i have to use a function that is called load stripe and that i have to pass the stripe api key okay and now in this elements i have to put in my protected route that is the payment okay so make sure that you also wrap it inside the stripe so now if i simply uh, save it that is uh column save it okay so now if i go to my confirm order so i have to go to slash payment so let me must process to payment i have to push to slash payment simply save it all right so now if i go back here so you know this page go to card check out continue proceed to payment and now you will see here we have our card number card expiry and card cvc and now this is automatically you can see the validation here if i type any card number and now you can see that this card number is invalid so now it is red and also for these so now we are successfully and now also this payment is also failed so now we have successfully created our payment component okay we have successfully added the card number expiry and the cvc components also and also we have added this route in the app.js so in my next video i will process the payment so when i press when i click on pay i have to pay the actual amount and then i have to i will see that uh, transaction in my stripe account also okay so i will process my payment using stripe in my next video